it's Kyla XO and today y'all I have a story time for y'all I almost wrecked my mama's car okay so listen so I was driving to Walgreens to exchange a foundation if you follow me on snap you already know what I'm talking about but I went I was driving to Walgreens right so I drive quite frequently you know up and down the street I don't really go anywhere I just drive to like places within my distance so, I'm driving to Walgreens, chilling, singing, doing real, real good. You know, I'm driving very, very well. Usually, I'd be all up tense and right here, but I was, you know, kind of linked back, kind of, you know, calm. Like, I was driving very nicely, the nicest I've ever driven. And I get to Walgreens, you know, hands on my business, whatever, get back in the car, drive back, perfectly fine. So, my mom had parked in this parking space and she had backed in so i was like okay well i'm gonna try to park in this parking space um right where she was at already but i'm not gonna try to back in because that's too much so i get back you know after driving a nice little drive did really well i could have parked in any parking spot and i don't really like to park next to cars i've never really had to so i don't um, so I was like, why not try something new? Because I taught myself how to parallel park. I tried that myself and I learned how to do it. So I was like, this can't be that hard. So I think I cut it a little too close in the corner and I turned and I got in the parking space. But it was like this hill of snow and I felt like I was really, really like in the street. Like I felt like I was lopsided. I can't really explain it, but it didn't feel like I was parked right. So I decided reverse to get straight, when I tell you I could not reverse, like I knew I was gonna hit the car trying to reverse. So I was like, all right, pull back in. So I pulled back in, tried to reverse again. It was not working. So I pulled back in and tried to reverse and I thought I was gonna have it by this much, by a slither, by that much. I thought I was gonna have it. Nope, got all the way back to the back of the other car and just, great the back of the car and then the bumper fell off like my mom's bumper just fell off on the ground but I didn't know that and somebody was pulling in and I think they saw me but like I just I just I, I can't even speak I just like did not know and so I continued to drive I was gonna flee the scene I was honestly gonna do a hit and run guys I'm sorry yes I was gonna flee the scene cuz I was scared like I was just like Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So then, I um I have the radio like up, so I, I'm pulling off and I go to drive up the hill to like go to the other side of the whole complex. <laughs> and I hear this scraping noise or like this, it sounded like, it just was a bad sound, okay? So I turn the radio off, like you know how you press the button, I turn it off and I'm like pulling up and I'm like, oh my God, I put the car in park and I get out and I'm like, oh my God, the bumper is on the floor, like on the ground, like literally the bumper is on the ground, not hanging, not, it's on, it's laying on the ground. And I'm just like, when I tell you my life flashed before my eyes just, and I was like, are, are y'all for real? Is this, is this real life? It's, this is a joke. So then, I'm like, okay, I don't even know how my mom was functioning at this point because I really could have just like left the car running, left all my stuff in there. So I'm like, okay, I get my purse, I get my key, I get all this, I get all this, put the car in park, turn it off. Like, I made sure I did everything. I don't know how because I'm like a nervous wreck, but I did it. So then I grab all my stuff, take the key out, close the door. Mind you, the door, the car is on a hill. Did not put the emergency brake on, but the car is sitting on a hill and that's like the hill that people go up to leave. So somebody could like, you just ran into the car if they didn't see it. Like, oh my God, I just, I just freaked out because I did not know what to do. So I start crying. I'm like, <laughs> and then I start running. I run me like, Ugg boots are all, and if y'all know me, I fall every time I like do something in my Ugg boots. Like, if I'm running in my Ugg boots, I'm gonna trip and bust my head. Like, I'd really be falling. So I'm running. Mind you, there's still ice on the ground. I did not care. I was just so scared. So I'm flying. I'm running, 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 running. And I run out. I'm like, mommy, I'm so sorry. 
She was like, what did you do? I was like, I, I, I don't know. The fuck, I don't know. She was like, Kyla, did you wreck my car? I said, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Cause my mom literally just got her car paid off. So she was just like, man, where the, where the dog on car at? So I'm like, I'll show you, just come on. Like, I could not think. I was like, I'll show you, I'll give you all my money. I will give you my all my checks. Like, I will pay for it, I'm so sorry. So, she's like, Kyle, just, where's the car? So I'm like, I'll show you, it's over in there. She's like, oh, but where? I'm like, just keep walking, I'm gonna show you. Walk down to the hill. I'm like, it's down there. I was like, oh, God. Like, I could not even walk with her to the car. Like. She comes see the car, and she's not that, like, shocked. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, mommy, I'll give it back. She's like, girl, this bumper snapped right back in. I said, and she was like, you know, it was hanging on by a thread anyway from me running up on the curb. I said, well, dog, well, then I didn't cry for nothing. I mean, technically, I didn't cry for nothing because I did scratch up that other person's car, so we still had to worry about that. I was like, we popped it back in or whatever, and she said, now, who car did you hit? I said, this one over here, so we drove down to the car. So then my mom's like, well, I'm gonna write them a note. I was like, girl, they really ain't got the note, you, you know. But my mom's a good person. My mom is a good Samaritan. And like, like God ain't finished with me yet. I'm young, I still got stuff to learn. But I was just like, just leave that room. <laughs> I didn't park over there. We didn't park over there, we parked over there. there. My mom's a good person. And she was like, we're gonna write a note and we're gonna leave it on their car so they know who did it. And you know, they can come talk to us, whatever, whatever. So she came back upstairs and she got a pen and paper she wrote the note and i guess she put it on their car and i don't know the rest is history but needless to say i won't be driving anytime soon which really hurt my feelings because i was doing so good like i was doing so good and then it was just some parking i really messed up some parking that that's just unacceptable she said she had a bad feeling when i left out the house that something was going to happen but i was like i drove perfectly fine on the road like i didn't crash your car i just I just couldn't park, that's it. And I could've really, and then she pulled in the parking space when I was in the car with her the same exact way I did and she was fine. And I was like, so I was straight the whole time. I didn't even have to really adjust. That was me trying to be a doggone perfectionist when I could've just left it how I was and that been it. But no, I decided to try to straighten up and that's what happened to me. I basically took my mama's bumper off the front of her car. just. Just took it off just on the ground i hope you guys enjoyed this story time i was really traumatized because i really thought i had wrecked the car and it was over like i really thought it was a wrap and i was like i'll give you all my checks to get your car fixed but honestly she just pumped the bumper back on and i was like well darn so now we just have to worry about the other people's car i will still give her all my money to pay for that because it is my fault like i'm not gonna let my mom have to pay for my mistake but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. If you liked it, give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe while you're at it. And until next time, guys, hugs and kisses. You know what to do. Share with your friends, share with your friends, share with your friends, A. Post this on your daddy page, yeah.